How you doing, folks? This is Mike Eastman, and these are my Blaze Trails Forgotten stories. This story is about a mule deer fight to the death, the dangerous rescue, and also the saved mule deer buck. So let's get right into the story. This happened back in all oh, the middle or early 90s. And uh, at that time, it was in November during the rut of mule deer, and I was in a limited quota area uh, just filming stock mule deer. They only give out like 10 permits in this area, and it was during the rut, and it could be a pretty good area to take a good trophy mule deer here in Wyoming. Well, I was out in a certain creek range filming these bucks rutting, and Rod Hart, who was the editor of the Eastman's Hunting Journal at the time, uh, my editor, uh, stopped by and said, hey, Mike, my brother Roger and his son are out hunting for a mule deer and found these two bucks locked up in a creek, and one of them is dead. No kidding. Yeah, why don't you come? We'll, do, we'll get some footage of it. I said, oh, this is a opportunity of a lifetime. So off we went, and it took us about 20, 30, 40 minutes, I don't know, going across two track roads and getting back in that country pretty deep. And, and we come up, and there's Roger and his son, and right behind him down in the creek, here's this buck with a dead one, and they're all locked up, and that buck is just going nuts trying to get the dead one off of him. And I, I looked at him, and I saw I set my cameras up, and my son Guy was home from college uh, during Thanksgiving break, and so he was there too to also run a camera. So I had me running a camera and my son running a camera at that time, and, and we're setting up, and um, I'm looking at this buck, and this couldn't have happened maybe that morning because uh, the buck... Uh, that was dead, rigor mortis hadn't set in, and uh, also the coyotes hadn't found him to start chewing on the dead one and harassing the live one. So I knew it ha had to happen pretty pretty soon, okay? And so what do you do? You got this buck down there. Both of them are four points. They're not really that big. I'd say 150-ish type uh, mule deer. Certainly there's bigger mule deer uh, in that country, especially when you're hunting during the rut. So I'm going, what are we going to do here? This, this poor buck, you know, he, if we leave him, he's just going to die. And that's no way to die is having a bunch of coyotes eating on you until you just finally bleed out. You got to ask yourself, how do those two bucks get tangled up like this? Well, looking at the situation, I believe that the two of them came together with such force that the one buck was able to open his antlers up just enough, and then it slammed shut like a door. Now, I want you to look here. Notice here, this one buck's main beams are hooked in. So he was able to get those around the bases of that other buck, and when everything came back out again, they're hooked in there, and you can't get them off. I'm looking this situation over here, this buck, and I come up with what I thought was a pretty bright idea. I said, um, Rod, you got a lariat in your rig over there? Oh, yeah, I always carry a lariat. You never know. I said, well, here, let's, let's do this. You, you try to heal that buck, and I'll get down in the water with him. And, you know, I didn't have any waders on, so I'm in a cold creek in November in my in my boots, and I said, I'll try to haze him over there and try to get him, and maybe maybe I can even grab a leg or something, and, and let's see if we can't get your lariat around his back legs. That buck just about nailed me with his back feet. I mean, it was so close, the water went flying up in my face, and I know that if he would have hit me in the head, um, it could have killed me. Kind of scared me, so I backed off, and, and so... About the third or fourth throw, uh, Rod got one hind foot. Well, that was good enough. I come across, I was in the middle of the creek, and I come up on top. We got him down, and so I says to Roger, I says, just saw off the dead buck's antler right there at the main beam, and we can slide it off. So Roger has to saw off an antler, and he's like a pincushion there. That buck can raise his head, flounder around, stabbing two or three times. So Roger in the stomach or chest, who knows? So, so it's it's kind of it's really dangerous here. And so I told Roger just just knock off one of those antlers, and that should be okay. And the bucks will 
part apart and the, the live one could take off and head down the trail. So he took and sawed off the live buck's antler at the base because that was the closest one to Roger without hanging over the whole buck with his body, which would really put him in a bad situation. He got it sawed off. What happened? That main beam that's hooked around the base of that other buck's antler is still there and we couldn't get them apart. So Roger had to saw off the main beam of the dead buck. By then I'd slide back down and I was in the creek. And uh, <laughs> I was in the creek and he was in the creek and he's looking at me like this. And with his head down, I'm going, oh no. Oh no, he's going to he's going to come right at me. He is mad. You can see his ears are back. He's just had enough of all this, you know. And here he come and I thought, and I I started crawling up the other side and he went up on the other side and out. Um, he didn't charge me. He was just trying to get out of there. And if you look in the footage, you can see him going away and he's, his one antler is like here and he's off centered because he doesn't have any antler on this side and he's going along like this and off he goes and and so hopefully he was okay and you know uh, after the season uh, I know where those deer winter and so I kind of puttered around a few days thinking well maybe I can find him on the winter range and you know do a bunch of closure on the buck making it through the winter and you know, I, I I never I never saw him again. Uh, I'm hoping he's still alive, but maybe a hunter shot him uh, during that season. <laughs> Can you imagine a hunter come up and just see maybe one side shooting the buck and walking up and looking down and sees antler sawed off and goes, "Holy smokes! I killed a buck with a sawed off antler. How'd that happen?" <laughs> Well, um, I never heard in any scuttlebutt about that, but that would have been kind of funny, you know, and would have added to the story. But this is probably one of the most unique things in the Western hunting I've done was come up on two mule deer locked up and was able to rescue the one. And he, he as far as we know, he lived through the whole thing. I'll bet you, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll bet you he's not looking for a fight after that deal. <laughs> so that's my story today. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you down the trail on another one.